Caspar David Friedrich was a 19th century German romantic painter who was known for his haunting and beautiful landscape paintings. Friedrich painted during an era of church history in which many people were enamored in the work of a Christian named Friedrich Schleiermacher, who is famous for describing religious experience as the feeling of absolute dependence. At its heart, religion, according to Schleiermacher, is about the moment in which we recognize our own finitude in comparison to the great, infinite nature of God. During this time, people were very interested in how the beauty and vastness of creation made us aware of how much we depend on God and the religious experience that comes through that realization. Caspar Friedrich brilliantly captured the spirit with his landscape paintings that communicate to us something called the sublime. The sublime is that strange combination of something that is both overwhelmingly beautiful, but also terrifying. It is like standing on the edge of a cliff at the Grand Canyon. One is overwhelmed by the splendor of creation, and yet one is also aware that a single misstep could end one's life. Friedrich's paintings captured this moment of sublimity. The natural world of creation depicted in his art is too beautiful for words and so vast and enormous that we stand awestruck by our own finitude in comparison. However, in several of the paintings shown here, we see that within this experience, we encounter Christ. This moment of Christ-like sublimity was a theme echoed this last week in both our scripture reading and our music at the 11 o'clock service. John chapter 1, verses 3 through 5 say, quote, All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The power of Christ as the divine word to overcome the forces of darkness is given a powerful sonic testimony in the hymn, Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence, which we sang at the 11 o'clock service. Consider the lyrics of the third verse. Rank on rank, the host of heaven spreads its vanguard on the way as the light of light descendeth from the realms of endless day that the powers of hell may vanish as the darkness clears away. The musical accompaniment of this song itself further emphasizes these themes. The pacing does not gallop, but rather plods methodically in deep meditation upon the defeat of hell and the future total transformation of all creation through Christ. This is a moment of the sublime. We are awestruck and wordless in witnessing the overwhelming power of God to vanquish hell itself. And we recognize our own need for this divine strength regarding the evils and struggles that we face. And that, in part, is what our current sermon series is about. If God is powerful enough, to defeat hell itself, then our mission as a church is certainly possible.